Say hi! <laughs> So today's video is a really, really exciting one. I'm super excited to share this video with you guys. So if you saw my last pregnancy update, then you guys know today is my 4D ultrasound appointment and I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm a little nervous for it because if you guys have been keeping up with my pregnancy journey with Everly, then you guys know she has like a cleft and there's just certain things that we're not sure of. Um, I'm gonna spell it out for you guys because <laughs> Leipu's over there. Say hi, Layla. Hi. Like I said, she has a um, severe cleft, and then we're also not sure if she has a NOSE. So I'm a little nervous just because, you know, I'm 28 weeks pregnant, and the last time I like really, really saw Everly was. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how long ago that was, but it was a really, really, like, long time ago. You guys know I get ultrasounds at my regular OB appointment every two weeks, but those ultrasounds are always super quick, just to make sure, you know, her heart is strong, she looks good, she's kicking away, all that stuff. So those ultrasounds aren't really detailed, they're just, you know, a really quick scan. So I haven't, like, fully seen, like, her face and, like, all of her features. Oh, my baby. Very sick. She has a really bad cough. Oh, baby, you sicky? <laughs> agua? Where is your agua? Here you go. So I'm a little nervous just for that, just because I know I'm going to, like, actually be able to, you know, see her features because they're going to be a lot more defined than the last time I saw her. But overall, I'm just super excited, and she's going to be beautiful no matter what. I wish my husband was with me, but you guys know he's still in California, and he's super, super busy. He's, like, dealing with important stuff. He's, you know, shipping out our pets, and he's in the process of, like, cleaning the entire house by himself because he has to, you know, do the move-out inspection and all that stuff. So he's dealing with super important stuff, so that's kind of an update on him because I had a few of you guys ask me how he's doing, so... He's doing good. He's not working anymore. He had his last work day like a few days ago. I don't remember, but it was a few days ago. So he's not working anymore, but he's kind of stressed out just because, you know, he's doing it all back home. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys a quick little 28 week bump update. So I decided to come into my mom's bathroom really quick. That way I can give you guys like a full 28 week bump update. So this is what the belly looks like with my shirt. So she's getting big and then full belly looks like. So as you guys can see, she's definitely getting like really big. It's so crazy. 28 weeks, my goodness. And her dad comes out here in like, let's see, a little under two weeks. So two weeks. So I'm hoping this one stays in there. But my goodness, guys, I'm like getting there. 28 weeks. Holy moly. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll see you guys when I'm on the way to my 4D ultrasound appointment. It's me, my mom, and then we have Rory, but she's in the car seat. And then Layla's all the way back there. Hi, Lay. Hi. Are you excited? Yeah. Excited to see Sissy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to eat a snack because the lady had told me to like drink water and have a snack before I come in, just so that way, hopefully, Everly is like moving around and stuff. So I'm eating a Nature Valley soft baked oatmeal square <laughs> in peanut butter. <laughs> then I have some water. I was never
never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you. You're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up 'cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned. Of our time, and I know it so well. I will always be by your side. 'Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever, and I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. Happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? How many songs can you write about heartbreak? How to go when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. Does she look chunky? Like she has chunky cheeks. She has chunky thighs. <laughs> chunky thighs. You think so? That was pretty cool, huh? What do you think of her moving around? Cause she was moving around a lot in there, huh? Yeah. She was like going like this. And 
and then it around. Like do do. And then this is what the other thing she is doing. So right there and then kick her legs like <laughs> Glad you came with me. Yeah. Okay, can I talk to the Moran family real quick? Okay. Now that Layla isn't in the room, I wanted to just kind of go over things. As you guys saw, her cleft is very visible on the ultrasound. It looked like she does have a nose, but it looks like um, her nose is um, kind of wide and super flat, which is kind of common with holoprosencephaly. And then it also looks like she has her two eyes, but they did look a little bit enlarged. I'm sure you guys noticed on the ultrasound. Cause but I'm going to show you guys the pictures that I got. She was so cute. She looks like she has my <laughs> chubby cheeks which Rory has. You guys always comment on Rory's cheeks. So I got some black and white pictures. So that's what, that's what these look like. So lots of cool pictures. I also got two in the 4D. So here is one of them, and in this one, it looks like she's smiling. So again, as you guys could see, you could see her cleft, and then her eyes look a little enlarged. But that kind of goes hand in hand with um, holoprosencephaly. And then here is the other one. So they're pretty similar. She's so cute. Also got a DVD. That way I can show all of my sisters, any family that wasn't at the ultrasound with me, and of course my husband, Benny, since he wasn't there. I can show him this whenever he gets out here, which is really soon. I also have a ton of pictures on my phone. She airdropped them to me, so I have like, I have a lot. Like, a ton of pictures. So this one is her foot her foot right there hands in her face so i just have a ton of pictures i know everly looks a little bit different so please be kind in the comments and then another sweet thing too was normally like this package this ultrasound package was going to cost like 85 dollars but the lady was just so sweet and she didn't even charge me anything and I honestly wanted to like hug her and cry, but I was like trying to keep it together and it's just so sweet and I'm so thankful for that. Like, as for like the cramping and the tightening feelings that I was having in my last pregnancy update, I had some more that day, but they went away and I haven't had them since. I've had like back pain on and off, but that's about it. I've been keeping an eye on it. You know, it could be a sign of labor or it could be a sign of like back labor i never had back labor with a girl so i don't really know what to expect i've been extremely nauseous every single day which sucks i've been keeping an eye on that too because i know that also can be an early labor sign but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the man family and make sure you hit that bell so you guys always get notified every single time i upload i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys I want you to know we can make it